Today, we're doing something a little meta, as the kids say, which I think means it involves Facebook or something. I want to give you some advice about how to use writing advice, whether that advice comes from me or somebody with vastly more qualifications. I imagine that my channel is but a drop in your media consumption diet, and surely a lot of that media is giving you advice, whether about writing or other things. This is some advice for using advice. Anyway, advice advice number one, ask whether this advice applies to your writing goals. A lot of writing advice out there seems to be geared towards people who want to become published full-time writers. My channel is a bit different in that I like to explore writing as a hobby, as an amateurish pursuit done for reasons of pleasure and personal fulfillment. This is why I generally don't talk about publishing or querying or book marketing. Someone who is just writing to improve their skills and because they enjoy the process is going to have different goals than someone who's writing because they want to get a book deal. Both of these goals are valid, but I think advice applies differently depending on what you're pursuing. Take something as simple as how long your novel should be. If you're writing to get published, then you need to adhere to industry conventions and expectations about the length of your novel. A million word long epic romance story is probably not going to do well when most romance novels are like 50 or 60,000 words, I think. If you're writing to get published, that's a piece of advice you need to follow. But if you're just writing for fun or enjoyment, then that limit doesn't apply and you should feel no constraint from that advice. Now, this doesn't mean that watching videos outside of your area of focus is a waste of time, but you should be watching this content and applying the advice with some salt handy. Next up, does this advice deal in absolutes? I really loved Stephen King's memoir on writing. Forget what it's called though. One thing I don't like about it though is how he presents his views on outlining versus pantsing in a very absolutist sort of way. He basically says that there's no other way to write a novel besides sitting down and writing it and doing any outlining or plotting beforehand is going to completely ruin it. This is something that I find with a lot of successful authors when they talk about their process is they tend to deal in very absolute terms of you must do these things, there's no other way, this is the only way to do things. Now King and all of these authors are coming from a place of massive success and obviously their process has worked well for them, but their advice often implies there's only one way to do things and that's simply not true. There are many successful authors who outline. For some folks, writing a novel without one is nearly impossible. There are many different ways to approach writing and very few things within writing are absolute. I try my best to avoid absolutes whenever possible because good execution can make anything work, which means that any absolutist piece of advice should not be blindly followed. So my advice here is to always seek out multiple viewpoints on a topic to get a well-rounded understanding of it before you take any absolute advice to heart. And lastly, advice advice number three, ask yourself how has this advice worked in the real world when I've tried to apply it? You can listen to all sorts of opinions about how to execute on something and different people's methods and views on how you should go about things, but until you've gone and done it yourself, all you've got is a theory. Unless you've actually tried a piece of advice in your own work, then you don't really have a good way to assess whether it's good advice or not. For example, you might want to fix up your dialogue, so you watch a bunch of videos and you'll probably have some feelings about the advice offered, but until you go and test what they're preaching, you really won't know how good the advice is, how well it works for your situation and the sort of writing that you do. I talked about this in an earlier video about skills versus knowledge. Knowledge is what you gain when you listen to people give you advice. Skills are what you gain when you apply that knowledge through actual practice and actual work. By that reasoning, good advice would be any advice that once applied helps you improve your skills. And the only way to assess that is to actually try to apply it. If a piece of advice gives you a new perspective or a potential solution to a problem, 
or even makes you aware of a problem that you didn't realize existed, that's great. But if you go and apply that advice and it makes your writing better by some metric, then that's even better. So before assessing whether a piece of advice is good or bad, try it on for size in your own practice and see how it does. Just like I'm glad you does watch this video. You did watch this video. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the advice about advice in it useful. If you want to get some more advice from me, you can check out all my other writing advice related videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.